The NNCLT, North Norfolk Cats Lifeline Trust, um, was founded in 1998-99 by a lady called Gay Reese. She was formerly the North Norfolk branch of Cats Protection. She had different views of how a cat sanctuary should be run. So she broke away from Cats Protection and formed the North Norfolk Cats Lifeline Trust. I like working for the NNCLT because I, I'm very passionate about the need for a cat rescue. Um, sadly, there's a need for it. I've been on for 30 years now, I've known the charity and been helping in some way or another, or been supportive of the charity. I um, was keen for it to carry on. Didn't want to see it close when Mrs. Reese passed away. We were faced with a situation that the charity was going to have to fold. And then we were faced with a situation of could we stay in Beeston Regis in Charing Wood, where the, where the sanctuary was, or would we have to relocate somewhere else? Our plans for the sanctuary weren't really affected by this in as much as we if we'd have stayed in Cheringwood, we hoped to improve the sanctuary anyway. We would have used funds to make, because it was very old and it did need a lot of upgrading. So we just put our new ideas into practice in a completely new sanctuary, which in the end has turned out to be a bonus. I found out that the North Norfolk Cats Lifeline Trust needed help when I was reading the Eastern Daily Press online on my computer in January two years ago. I, they, there was an urgent appeal to re relocate and they needed to find another site. So I got in touch with them and uh, they came and saw what we had to offer. We had a, a free piece of land next to the hall because it was an old bowling green originally and uh, it had fallen into disuse and uh, we decided that it was something that we could make use of in and provide a further income for the hall. To let everyone know that we were looking for some land suitable to build a sanctuary on. We had a call from the secretary of um, Antingham Village Hall offering us a piece of land adjacent to the hall that was redundant. We all decided, we all had a, came and had a look at it. It was decided that it would be absolutely perfect. Myself and the committee decided to help them because uh, it was a very good cause. Initially it didn't affect the running of the sanctuary, um, but obviously as, it, as the time grew closer to us moving and we had to pack everything, it was 30 years worth of belongings and so it did start to impinge a little bit and obviously then the cats had, we had to stop taking cats in which was very difficult and then we had to find foster homes for all the cats that we had got in residence at the time and various members and supporters owned a few for the, for the duration of the time of the new sanctuary being built. My cats also came from a very similar charity, the um, Cats Protection League. So without these charities, I wouldn't have my two lovely cats that I adore now. I'm a member of the Parish Council and uh, I spoke to other members of the Council and uh, they were in full agreement. And we, we progressed it to the North Norfolk District Council who also thought it was a good idea and they granted planning permission. Um, the works for the new sanctuary began in May of 2019 with initially groundworks being dug and created concrete. We had just grass here before. Since we've been here um, we've been able to take in more cats for a start. We've had better facilities for hope for bringing cats in that need help and in turn that has helped with finding new homes for, for more cats. We've been able to um, we've got nice facilities for people to come and sit in with the cats and enjoy being with them. And we have reached a wider audience as well since I suppose perhaps the publicity of moving and all the upset that came before. But, but we've also attracted a lot more supporters and it has opened us to a wider, wider audience and therefore it, it has created a bigger outreach for homing. The reason why I donate is um, because Charities like these need a lot of financial help to keep going and to keep running. There's um, all kinds of uh, different things that they need to pay for and keep paying for. Shortly after we started bringing our cats back in from foster and introducing new cats to the sanctuary, we 
We did have a brief spell of homing up until March of 2020. Then the pandemic hit and the lockdown happened. And then since 2021, when the pandemic started to ease a little bit, we have been full on opening. So we didn't really start operating fully until this year of April. I know that my donations go towards um, probably quite a long list of things, uh, mainly food, um, veterinary bills, and bedding, toys, and heating costs. Day starts um, with the trustee on, on duty arrives, um, usually come into the care unit to begin with and check everyone's okay in there. So there's lots of mouths to feed in the morning, so we get the food ready. Usually about half past nine, the, volunteer, the daily volunteers arrive, and then we begin the cleaning, which takes all morning. It involves a lot of litter trays being cleaned and floors being swept and mopped and or beds being brushed and generally cleaning everywhere. All the goings on, appointments and vet appointments and so forth. We then come five, half past four, five o'clock, it's time to start all over again with the feeding and, and then shutting down for the evening, five out, half past six, seven o'clock time, usually. As far as the Trust is concerned, we're feeling very positive about the future. We've got some new trustees on board this after our AGM this year. We've got lots of lovely volunteers and supporters and people helping with fundraising. And I'm really proud to be a donator um, to them, um, really through the story and what they've been through um, of having to find new land. We feel the future is very positive for the sanctuary now, but we have some lovely young supporters as well, which we hope will be the future of the sanctuary. We have plans to continually help the uh, NNCLT by mutual cooperation if uh, they are welcome to use the hall at any time and uh, if they have uh, anything that the problems that might occur uh, we're there to help them. They're so important um, some cats can't even be rehomed so they wouldn't have anywhere to go without these charities so they, they constantly need um, to be paid for and have a location to be in.